All right, we're going to have another go at this. Let's see if Facebook likes to want, like, wants to like me, I should say. Again. All right. Welcome back. Sorry about that little interlude for those of you who... Oh, I've got to turn the volume down on my laptop. Oh, and I can hear myself. All right. <laughs> Hi, Lynn. How are you, darling? Hey, Kel. All righty. So I'm going to get into this because I'm going to do all the things today. I'm going to do a Vicky Booten and do everything. So second to last Facebook of the weekend. And we are in the last day of the Great Australian Craft Show, Great International Craft Show. And we are going to, we've got Scrap Effects on special today at 15% off. Plus stamps, stencils, papers and dies. Okay, so I'm going to talk to you about junk journals today and what they are all about. I've been using junk journals in my live Facebooks for quite a while. And most of you have, have seen how these have been created and what the junk journals are all about. Um, I'll show you what a junk journal looks like before and then I'll show you a couple after. So here's one that I've just opened up. And this is the junk journal patterns kit. So what a junk journal is, is exactly that. It's a journal that is on, is on, um, different sorts of paper. So what makes them awesome are these, these great little cutouts. So we've got this one here and the pages, this particular one is made up of graph paper and we've got an acetate sheet here with this awesome print on it. Why haven't I seen that one before? Um, we've got this cutout here. It has a page from the, a Sydney street directory in here as well. We have a tab page, we have a binder page, we have a page out of a textbook perhaps, a tag. We've got some um, plain paper, a book page, and then we get into the second half of the book which has got these, some more lovely cutouts in them, tags, and then you've got the other half of your pages so it's a really really clever oh this one's got bondo beach it's a really really clever book plus it has an envelope an a4 envelope and some instructions on how to put it all together um and some string i'm just going to pop that aside uh and what what i'm going to do is i'm going to give you a quick flip through of my journals and what i've been creating so far um most of these pages you'll find them on my youtube channel and these are pages that i've created in in little free live facebooks so this is the lace book and as you can see it's got that gorgeous lace thing but what i love about these is the the art journal pages the junk journal pages make you think just a little bit because you've got all these different surfaces to work on i've added some pages to these books so this is alcohol inks on acetate on this page here. Um, there's one of the lace pages and I have stuck a piece of paper behind that and there it is. Um, alcohol ink on acetate. Uh, alcohol ink on uh, Yupo paper with, and then stamped and stuck in. So this is going to give us a few, a few ideas on what you can do with a junk journal um, lots and lots of painty pages and you can do anything and I love that you've got all of these different surfaces and different sorts of papers to work on as well bit of a grungy steampunk page I just love that stamp um, and then we go into this one I know I did with the Vicky Booten gel crayons a little while ago and you know an acetate page here where I put um, one of the weird peeps on the edge there with some tape a die from paper rose this is an awesome leaf 
from Scrap Effects, which is on special today, that I've put some foiling behind. See how amazing that looks? Love it. And then I've still got a couple of unfinished pages in here. And then that one. Um, so that's one of my journals. In the front of it, I've put a piece of the Scrap Effects uh, collage paper on that one. And then this one is a uh, junk journal as well. So I've done the cover with a chipboard, AB Studio chipboard door on the front. And then you'll flip through and see some pages that I've done as well. So these are on everything from manila folders. Um, and this is an incomplete junk journal. Please remember that. Um, so I've got pages where I've cleaned off my brushes. This is on a piece of book paper. Um, there's the, the weird ladies that I did with the magical papers, uh, with the girl squad, uh, alphas, thickers, um, brush cleaning. So this one had the super thin words on here. This one's got a plastic bag. Some pages that I've done for Stencil Girl. So they're really, really clever, really, really easy to use. You can add pages to them. You can take them out if you want to. This is the page that I did a couple of live, a uh, couple of shows ago online that kind of went a bit pear-shaped, but I turned it around and saved it. Something with some fluoros. We did a, I did a cutout page where we put the doors in the background. Not finished. So they're really, really clever. Um, I do think that, you know, challenging yourself with your creativity is something that we all need to do. I have got here a junk journal that all I have done is painted some background pages. Um, a little while ago here in Adelaide, we had an all day event um, and I sat and played with the shimmers, Dilution Shimmer paints. So... I have painted these pages with those. So this particular journal is, I think, the construction journal. So the first page is actually an envelope. And I have cut with scissors those scallops in there. Um, and you can see here that I've got the, the netting, not the netting, chicken wire cut out in this one. And I have gone through with the Dilution Shimmer paints and just painted them. So this is a, a like a dictionary page. This under here is a, what is that called? Street directory page. It's a plain piece of paper there. We've got a little book paper, black piece of paper. So you can see that I have laid down a page. I've just done a black one there. How good's that look? Love it. Do you want me to show you how to do this? How to do this, um, get this lovely blend going on. And this is, this is done with the shimmer paints. So just laying down bases ready to go for me to paint. So I'll show you how to do that, that shimmer sort of look. Um, that shimmer look, that circular look. So this is on a... Um, a piece of graph paper perhaps it's got a circle it had a circle on it in the background so I utilized that circle so the shimmer paints from Dilutions have just come out uh, not all that long ago uh, we did have available all of the new colors but you guys are machines and now we don't so a couple of them have sold out since this morning so wow but the new shimmer paints from Dilutions are lovely Oh, excuse me. So what I'm going to do, what I've done with my shimmer paints, excuse my tissue, um, is I have put an S on the ends of them so I know that they are the shimmer ones. Otherwise, what's going to happen is um, I'm going to put shimmer where I don't want shimmer to go. Um, this is the page that's got the cutouts on it, so I just need to have an awareness. And I'm going to start with the lightest colour in the middle, which is Fresh Lime. And just do a circle and then while it's wet I'm going to add the next color which is I've got cut grass here 
and I'm being super loose with it. And just off, well, you can just see here, I'm just taking the excess paint off my brush and I'm not wetting, my brush is dry. So again, I've used the dry brush technique and a small amount of paint and I'm blending it around in that circle. Okay, so what the dry brush technique allows me to do is feather it out. And I can add more paint, um, but I can't, whoops, that's a lot of paint. But it's a lot harder to take off. So I'm just going to take off some excess paint onto another page here. Deb, I'm not surprised that you ordered the purple, babe. Alrighty. Now I'm going to go into Calypso Teal. Like that. So just lightly overlapping into that one. So you can do this with any paints. It doesn't have to be the shimmer paints. That is just what I have started creating this album with, okay? So um, now I'm going to use the new London Blue. I will be doing another order and topping up all of these paints um, over the next couple of days. So if there is something that is not in stock today but you still want to get your hands on, then of course keep an eye out for when it is in stock. Um, on the website we do have a section called Back in Stock. So make sure you have a look in that. They're things that I have sold out of previously and then got a top up of and added back into the inventory. So, um, and if you want something popped aside for you, please send me an email. Please do not send me a Facebook message because the messages get lost and... You know when you get a message on Facebook and once you've read it, it disappears and then somebody somebody else sends you a message. So please send me an email um, and I will be guaranteed that we will get it and I can write it straight into the order book. Um, I'm just going to go back over with a little colour in a few spots, but you can see that this is blending really, really nicely and I am loving it. So what I'm going to do in a moment is I'm going to pop this aside and then I'm going to show you how to, I want this one I think, I'm going to show you how to build on these pages. So I've got a, uh, a few little scrap effects products here that I want to use and show you how to add to your art journal pages. Yeah, baby. All right. Love that. I'm going to bring it up to camera. So that you can see that nice blend. What do you reckon? Not too shabby? Except for I missed a bit. There. But that's okay because I've wet my brush and I'm not going to add any more. Right. Next thing I want to do is um, I've got to pull out some little embellishments and bits and pieces from Scrap Effects. And I'm going to start creating pages in my journal using a few stencils and a few uh, collage, paper, uh, collage paper pieces from um, Scrap Effects and I've got some Stencil Girl stuff here as well. So let's start with the wet stuff first so that it dries and I can come back to it. So Scrap Effects do this. <laughs> yes, Louise, Michelle, Louise is packing orders in the background. Yes, you can hear her. You're lucky she's not singing. Um, <laughs> I have got some of these weird people, graffiti people. Um, I have got some coloured snarky people. And I have got some scissors. And I'm going to cut one out and add it to a page and show you how to add it to a page. So these are fantastic because they're quick and easy little focal points for your, um, for your projects. You just need to cut them out and then turn them into your own on your page. 
All right, so going around, nice and simple. And this is a really lovely, good quality paper. And in, a, in your art journal, it's important to have stuff that that is um, of, a, of a decent sort of quality. So I'm going to pop those aside and come back. All right, so now that I've cut that out, what's it going to look good on? Let's flick through these pages. So as you can see with the shimmery paints from Dilutions, these this is the red and the tangerine. This is the what do we got? Bubblegum and Tangerine Dream. We have got fresh lime with polished jade. Funky fuchsia with tangerine mixing colors that are alongside each other on the color wheel you can see this little book page here i've just gone straight across with purple pink purple purple pink i don't know you can see and i've got quick and easy pages that are done and this is the black i do love the black with a little teal and a little pink all right so let's have a look and see what this looks great on does look good on that does look good on that one I think it looks great on that so I'm gonna pop it on this black page and what I'm gonna do first of all is I'm gonna add a little bit of stamping except for I forgot to get some stamps out that's a problem so there's the first one that I can grab um, can you grab for me in my office just a tray of background sort of stamps? Anything will do. Let's not be too fussy about it. Let's just grab, let's grab some stamps. Thanks, Lou. Perfect. Oh, excellent. I'm going to take that one from you and I'm going to take that one from you and the frond the frondy thing right there good work champion thank you so this is my reed stamp that is on my um, in my stamp set I'm using the black archival ink and I'm going to use gel medium to stick that on She is a handy little helper, Michelle. She does she does earn her keep around here. I will give her that. And she's listening to me, which means that she actually knows what's going on rather than yesterday's lovely assistant, who I think was off in Dreamworld, bless her cotton socks, and couldn't read what I was going to do next. So that was pretty funny. Um, so I'm just using gel medium on the back here just to stick that down. I'm going to see how many art journal pages I can crack out or the bases of art journal pages I can crack out in a short amount of time. So now that I've added that to my page, I can grab a black Pintor pen or a black Sharpie. What have I got here? A Sharpie that doesn't work. That's no shock. I've had nothing but bad luck with pens lately. Um, and I'm going to outline... Do add a little bit of doodling in and around my person to help it kind of work into the page a bit so it doesn't just look like it's stuck on. I want to, you know, incorporate, in, incorporate, incorporate it in to make it look like it's something that, you know, I have created. Um, so this just needs a little bit more, a big title, a few words, a um, bit of information on the page. And I'm just going to leave it like that. And it's something that I can come back and add later. So that is one quick page done. Another quick page. What else can we whip up? I know. Let's grab one of these. These are the tissue, uh, the collage papers. And let's go for the one that looks like uh, me at the moment with my very short little ponytail popping out the top. Um, you do have to be a little bit more gentle with these. So these are hand-drawn elements that uh, by the lovely Michelle Logan. Uh, she is a, uh, a 
very talented Australian lady, a uh, very, very clever lady who does some amazing work. And she has, as you can see, these are all hand-drawn elements. Now, these might not suit everyone. Some people might think they're a bit weird, and that's okay. You don't have to like it. But it's nice to have a range of different things, different things in your journals. Um, where am I going to put this one? Actually, let's stick it on that page. But before I stick it on that page, I'm going to add a little stamping in the background. So I have got here, I don't know, I've got a script stamp I've just picked up. I've got a little box of stamps here that I use every day. Every day stamps that I've been accumulating over the years. So um, don't know what brand this is. So please don't say, Natalie, I want to buy that stamp because I have got quite the selection of stamps. Um, and I'm going to use one of the Scrap FX foam stamps. So when you buy these, they come on a piece of acetate ready to go. You don't need to put it on a stamp block. So I'm just going to apply my ink to my fingertips. Apply my ink straight to the stamp, like that. Press it down and voila, instant image. And I'm going to quickly do a second one because it's gonna give me that lovely shadow. And the good thing is if you miss a bit, you can go back on and add some more. And now I'm gonna do a third one. there and then take the negative and or what's left of it and pop it up on that side so that actually stamps up really really nicely i do like that and how do you clean it off just with a baby wipe or just do what i do and just let it dry on there because i am lazy but that's okay um sticking this on you i'm going to use the gel medium on the back of my collage paper because I don't want to add too much wetness to my page, too much dampness. But I do love that the, I do love the fact that I've gone through and I've pre-painted all of these pages. So all I have to do is find these great elements and, and stick them on. Dun dun. So what I'm going to do is slide it down a bit and just go over lightly with my brush to smooth out any air bubbles, smooth out any chunks of gel medium and it also creates a nice little seal over the top of the gel medium to make sure that it is all polished off nicely. And I can see that I've missed a big bit at the bottom here, so I can just push that down like so. And when this is dry, I can go back and add some colour to this piece of collage paper because it has, once it's dried, I'll be able to seal it. Now that it's sealed, I'll be able to add colour over the top. Okay, quick and easy little art journal page. I'm going to pop that one aside to dry. What other little goodies have I got here? Um, I've got a couple of stencils that I want to use as well. Um, oh, actually, here's a tree. Here's a tree. So the silhouettes are on Scrap Effects. A lot of people have asked me, Natalie, what are the silhouettes? I don't understand what they are. Um, they are die cuts ready to go on your pages. So really, really clever product that you can just add on just like that. Looks good on everything. Doesn't have to be detailed. 
All right, so that is what the die cuts are. They're fantastic. They look so good. Um, I just caught a glimpse of the footage on my laptop as I'm watching. How good does that look on there? I really love that. How would I stick that down? Very carefully. Um, I would get some glue and just do all the undersides very, very lightly and stick it down, hold my hand on it for five minutes um, and do that. So I'm not going to do that now because nobody needs to see me watch, stick my hand on it. Um, Judy's just asked the question, what are the, the differences between a gloss gel medium and a, and a matte gel medium? Well, the difference is how it looks when it dries. Um, gel medium will dry matte and gloss will dry with a little bit of a sheen on it. So that means it will have a, a slightly glossy finish on, the, on, the, on whatever you're collaging down. I tend to like to use a um, kind of like a, a, a universal matte sort of, well, I guess it's not really a matte. I just use the plain one, one that doesn't say gloss or matte. Where's my baby wipes? Um, can't see my baby wipes anywhere. Can anyone see my baby wipes? Are they in front of me? No, okay. Anyway, moving on. Um, so, yeah, the, the difference is you can... You can, the gloss and the, sorry, I'm totally sidetracked by that. Um, the difference between the gloss and the matte is how it finishes on the, on the project. Whether or not it has a little bit of a sheen to it or whether or not it has a, um, yeah, a, a matte finish. It's personal preference in the long run. Uh, thank you, Louise. And it is completely up to you, but I, I prefer one that's more matte finish and then I'm not going to have a, uh, if I want to paint over the top of it, then I'm not going to lose any detail with the shine. So, I mean, I can always add shine, but it's a lot harder to take it off. So that's why I like to um, to do to use um, more of a matte finish. Um, now, I'm going to use this stencil girl stencil and some plain black paint which I just need to get out of my trolley here. Here we go. So I've got some black Dina Wakely paint and I want to stencil this image onto my book. So this is a something a little bit quirky, but I thought it was quite nice and kind of fun. I'm going to use this super tiny little tool. So the reason I want to use the super tiny tool is because I want it to be able to um, put on a small amount and work, work in a small area. And then I can go over the top of this later if I need to with a black pen. Going over the top of metallic paints with a matte finish paint won't give you a solid colour. Because the metallic paint, the shimmery paint, is so shimmery. I know sounds obvious but you you just need to I will go over this with a black pen to add detail to it and I'm going to do all one side of the face and then I will go back and add more in a minute. being sure not to move it And I do think these are really, really cute, quirky images. And the Stencil Girl stencil is 15% um, off until the end of today as well. Boho. So, hey Lou? Boho. Boho. The Boho Faces? Is that what we are called or something like that? Yeah. So you'll see what I mean in a minute about it not being a solid image because of the shimmer paints. I think I've got it all. Hey, hey, check it out. And now, since I've got this one lined up on that side, why not?
Um, I don't have to use paint. I could have easily done this with a, um, a black pen, a black Sharpie over the top. But of course the metallic of the paint is going to leave it a little bit transparent because that, that metallic is so awesome and strong, okay? So it does need to be finished off. So I'm kind of creating a bit of a, a secondary layer to all of these pages that I can then go and add detail on later. So when I'm creating art journal pages, I quite often create, and I've talked about this before, about the journaling by fives, um, where we, we create in a bit of a pattern. So laying down a base of color, then start building up with collage elements, finishing off with doodling and detail, okay? <laughs> that looks awesome. All right, I'm going to bring it up to camera to show you what I mean by the fact that it's not totally transparent. Not, sorry, not totally solid. Can you see that it's got that um, ever so slight transparency to it? Okay. Good. Oh, I like it. Now, while I'm doing that, I'm going to do... There's another stencil that I wanted to use and I've been meaning to use it for ages and I keep forgetting. And it is this one. Can you see that image? Is that showing up on camera? She is called Sweet Girl, I think. And I'm gonna do exactly the same thing uh, and then I'm going to actually finish her off and outline her today. So I'm going to put her on my cover page. And I'm not going to do her whole face. So I'm going to use that black sponge again. And I'm going to add her. So um, I love this stencil girl do something that is a little different and a little bit quirky. Uh, but more importantly, they are stencils that have been hand drawn and designed by creative people such as us. And they are designed by creative people to be used by creative people, exactly the same as scrap effects. And that is the other thing that I love about Australian company, scrap effects. You know, when you just, you just, there's certain things, they just nail it every time, stencil girl, are very very cool with doing stuff like this um, there's an Australian creative lady who I'm sure you are all very aware of uh, by the name of Neve Bailey out of Tassie well she has used this particular stencil on her projects so or a, a, maybe a different one because there's a few different designs that are same but different um, but she's used it and just Look her work up, it is absolutely amazing. Um, she uses lots of Stencil Girl stencils uh, and very, very clever with, with putting images like this on her projects. Uh, very inspirational. All right, so I'm just gonna go over the collar here. See if I've missed any bits. And then, uh, oh, look at that, just in there. And I've got this gorgeous image that I can build on so I can grab a black pen. I keep picking up that same black pen that doesn't work, but I can now start to tie all of these elements together, okay? So something a little bit different. And black on this, um, these shimmer paints are just lovely. I could just quite easily just spend a whole afternoon just stenciling on top of these pages. They are just so nice and so pretty to work with. And this shimmer is just mind blowing. Did 
I miss a bit here. Oh, I did miss a little bit. I can just easily go back and go like that. And start building my image. And this is the advantage of a stencil where it's a face, is you can add the elements that you need to, to turn it into your own. You don't have to follow the rules. Nothing else about it has to be perfect. You can add highlight colours. I'm just giving her some more hair now. There's no rules to say that I can't. I'm turning her into, into my own, okay? I don't want to touch her face too much. I'm going to sharpen up her her lips a little, give her some more jawline, give her her make her her clothes here. <laughs> you watch Neve every morning having breakfast, Cheryl. Oh come on, darling. I would say something about you being a slight stalker, but I'm not going to. Because I I kind of do a little binge on a regular basis as well, so. But the, the pages don't have to be super over-the-top detailed. You can make them as complicated as you want them to be, okay? It is your journal to do what you like with, and that's, that's kind of what I love about this. Um, I can give her a little bit of white on her eyes. Whether or not that'll just make her look creepy, I don't know. Let's give it a whirl. Just a little dot. Oh, yeah, she's a little bit creepy. But that's okay um, but you can see how easy it is to create a you watch it at night see Annalise Annalise just commented saying that um, she watches Neve before she goes to bed at night to switch off your brain to forget about all the worries in the world see I can't do that because I would then start thinking about what I can be doing and that that is just that's my it works a complete opposite to me um, so now I'm just going to add a bit of a bit of a word on here. What are we going to say? What are we going to say? We are going to say something like, here are some of these um, phrases from Scrap Effects. So I'm going to use one of these and I'm going to just write it straight on here. Overthinking, the art of creating problems that weren't there. Stop overthinking. Wow. That actually says that there rather than me just saying it, guys. Look at that for a nice change. Um, art is not a thing, it's a way. And I like that. And that is what it says. Did I write it right? Art is not a thing. It's a way of life. I feel like it needs to be finished. So I'm happy with that little art journal page. That is my cover. And I've used a simple stencil to make it work. Um, so I can come back to these guys here. And the sort of thing that I will do with this page is... I'll probably use my thicker black Pintor pen and now draw those elements in a bit bolder so that it looks like I have drawn the image. All right, so that is what I will do with that. Sharpen those up, keeping it simple. Um, draw a frame around the edge and a little bit of doodling to match in with these spots in here. I'll add some spots into this one. Um, again, it's that whole overthinking thing that we think that it has to be this incredibly detailed, perfect work of art every time, where in actual fact, that's just what we put on ourselves, isn't it? Okay, so I think that it's just easier 
for simple mindfulness to create just because we can um, rather than creating with an intention to impress every Tom, Dick and Harry who feels like they have to have an opinion. Okay? I know. Hi, horse. I'm off it now. But you know what I mean. Trolling is just the worst thing ever that the internet has bought. The internet has bought us so many amazing things. Unfortunately, um, keyboard warriors and trolling is the worst of what the internet has bought us. But it is what it is. We can change us. Can't change other people. Like everybody else, I was I was brought up in the school of if you haven't got anything nice to say, don't say it at all. So this is the medium pintor pen. So this is a nice thick one. So I was actually making this, um, you know, this outlining a lot easier, okay? Um, you can see that, I'm not going to do the whole thing, but you can see how the medium paint pen just goes over this so, so beautifully. Really, really well, okay? And how, can you see that shimmer? Can you see how awesome that shimmer is on there? All right, what else can we do? Have I got time? Of course I've got time. I've got nowhere to be. Let's pull out this page and see what we can do here. I've got somewhere floating around on my table. Here we go. So quite often um, we, we, I talked about it this morning. We got some stamps in online that have got this lovely outline. You buy them and you think, oh, look, it's a solid, it's a solid stamp, but it's not what I ordered. It happens a lot. Let's have a play with it. I'm going to do it with Distress Oxides. Um, distress Oxides in... black soot and and forest moss okay so I've got two colors here that are oh hi Bronwyn you're heading off to work babe all right I thought of you when I had my lunch today we had our uber eats driver otherwise known as my husband bring us in a Bunnings lunch um, Susan, these are um, art journals that I'm using here. These are the Scrap Effects Junk Journals, which are currently on special today. Okay, so that's why I'm kind of featuring these junk journals, because they are on special at 15% off. All right, so you can see that I've just tapped on some ink, and I'm just going to, I'll do it here first. Evenly, nice even pressure, put it on there. And I've still got this ink on here, so I'm going to do that. And I know that this is on two pages in my journal that are not going to be next to each other, but I'm going to do it anyway. Look at that, Distress Oxides over this shimmer paint. Mmm. My gosh, that looks so good. Oh, I love it. To give you my best Vicky Booten impression. All right. And I'll do the same thing again. So sometimes when you get a stamp in and it's a solid, try using something like this, like your Distress Oxide. So this is the black soot. Okay, how good's that? Whoop. 
Whoops. And I'm just giving it a a firm rub over. A good rub down. Okay. So as soon as that, oh, and now I can just clean that off with the baby wipe. Or stamp the excess onto another page. But you could use stamped, sorry, you could use ink, you could use paint, you can use all sorts of things. But the um, I find that it works really, really nicely with distress inks and distress oxides. So... Um, yeah, really, really nice. So I do love these little junk journals. I've got all of these really fun little pages to play on. Um, I need to dry that. Um, I do the pages, the different sorts of pages challenge you. And I think that that's really the best thing for this. If you want, if you like something a little bit different, you can, you can be challenged by adding in you know, a, a street, have, you know, using a street directory page or an acetate page, or you could use alcohol inks on the acetate pages. Absolutely. Um, totally got the option to do whatever you want. Um, all of these techniques will also work in other art journals as well. So the other art journals that I use, um, I do love the Dilutions journals. I do have the uh, Dina Wakeley journal. I have some Art by Marlene journals going. Uh, there's, there's no... Oh, I've got a couple of Strathmore journals going. So there's lots and lots of journals that I use. And it depends on, on what I... Um, how I'm feeling at the time and how much of a challenge I want to do. Um, as a rule, I tend to, when I create for me, for me personally, which still does happen every now and again, I create um, in my junk journals like these. If I'm creating for a class, I will create in my large dilutions journal. But for creating for me, I like the idea of these little pages. And I especially like the fact that somebody else has done it for me rather than making up my own journals. Um, this is so much easier and they've got these lovely little die cut pages. Uh, the, the fun bit is that it challenges you to, to think outside the square and, and try something new. So that's what I love. Um, so going back to this one here, I'm just going to give it an outline now uh, with the fine Pinto paint pen. And then I am going to pop a scribbly sentence on it. Something about, something about what? What do you reckon? Um, I do love my Pintor pens. I'm going to give this a little... Where's that pink? Bit of pop of pink. On there. So the Pintor paint pens come in a great range of colours as well. And they are great. I, there's a couple of mine that I have used until they have been empty. That is how much... I do love me a Pinto paint pen. I think that they are an excellent, excellent product and I can use it in lots and lots of different ways. So I'm just going to grab this one. As you can see, I've just done a little bit of a um, squirt of colour onto here and now I'm just going to use it over the top like that. And I'm going to mix it with the green. I had the green. The green's in my hand, Natalie. And 
and I will also take a good bit of yellow. This guy's got like a multicolored shirt on. Um, okay, so while I'm um, just finishing off this, uh, this little page here, um, I just want to, yeah, just remind you again that the sale only runs until this evening and then um, all the prices go back to normal as of tomorrow. Our Bricks and Mortar Super Studio here in Adelaide is closed tomorrow. We are, there won't be any answering of emails or anything like that because we are going to be machines packing your orders. Okay, so we are going to be concentrating on doing that tomorrow. Um, we will be posting, uh, sending out some invoices tonight about postage, like I mentioned earlier today. Um, and we will... I've got the ums today, Louise. Have you noticed that? Of course you have. Um, and I've not... <laughs> I've just done it again. Uh, so we've, we will be busy over the next 24 hours packing up your orders, checking them all off. Apologise in advance if we make mistakes and send you or forget to send you something. We are human. That's what happens. Uh, but we do endeavour to do our best as a as a one one two woman show here in in Adelaide. So uh, very very grateful for your support on that. I'm just going to add a little bit of gold onto the cheeks because I can. A bit of a gold cross there. All right. I need a word. I need a phrase. What are we going to go with? I'm going to do something a bit scribbly here that you might not be able to read. Um, trust your trust your gut feeling and do what makes you happy. Okay scribbly little phrase on there um i kind of like that i'll trim that bit off of course and it's and it's keeping it real keeping it keeping it real this one Paint on my sleeve, didn't I? okay to be weird when everybody else wants to look the same okay nice simple phrase on that um it's an art journal page it means something to me it doesn't need to mean anything to you and it doesn't have to be over the top either all right that pintor paint pen is designed i can tell you right now to work a dream over these shimmery paints absolutely beautiful I can do some doodle marks in gold. Before I do my title or my words on this one. A few little marks. And what do we want to say on this one? What wise, wise words? Because art journal page, you've always got to have, I think you always have to um, have some sort of, of phrase. So um, these, I can stick these straight on if I wanted to. That'll work really well. Um,
I have I've run out of words. How's that possible? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Louise, Sorry. what's one of those awesome phrases? Quick. What's that that Facebook page you and I have been following? Um, what do we what's it? Well, I need an awesome phrase. I need to put a whole heap of new ones. Oh, I know. I've got here. Um, um, oh, how? Come on, guys. Leave me alone to be creative. Yeah, that'll work. No, stop overthinking it. Thanks, Vicky. I am overthinking it. I've got a total brain drain. I can't think of anything at the moment. It's. Um, I could go with. I oh, know. Keep it simple, because that's what I should have done. <laughs> Keep it simple. Oh, my gosh. So can you see how good those um, foam stamps from Scrap Effects look on the, uh, with Distress Oxides on that shimmer paint? I love that it's not perfect. I love that it's given me a really, really interesting look. So, all right, guys, I'm going to leave it there because it's going to take me half an hour to clean up. Then I'm going to need to come back again and we're going to do something else this afternoon for our last Facebook of the day. So just to recap, we've been having a bit of a play with the Scrap FX junk journals, um, which are on special for today for, at 15% off. Um, this is using a stencil from Stencil Girl and all the colour in the background is added with the Dilution Shimmer Paints. So we've done a couple of little, little, little backgrounds here. Um, and the, the one that I started with, that very first page that I started with, here it is dry. So good. Just looks awesome. I'm just going to change my lighting here to see if it... Oh, there you go. You can get a bit of a, bit of a better look now. I've changed that off, turned that light off. So those shimmer paints just look incredible. They look so, so good. Um black, pink, and teal, and then we've got the boho people, which I will outline some more with the paint pen and add a little bit more scribbly doodling to them as well, So and add some words, of course. So your art journals, such a clever way to release some creativity, to be able to... Um, just have a play. I mean, that there just by itself looks amazing. That's just one of the scrap effects silhouettes on top of the orange or the tangerine and the uh, post box red shimmer paint. Get on it, guys. I will chat to you soon. Have a great day and thank you for watching.